Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. Now swimming in the river or the ocean can be quite a relaxing experience that gets you closer to nature, but there are certain places on this planet where it would be extremely dangerous to swim. So in today's video I will be going through five places that are extremely dangerous to swim, but in this video I will be focusing on the biological factors instead of the layout of the river system or ocean or the water chemistry. So because of this I will be excluding places such as the Boiling Lake, Jacob's Well and the Blue Lagoon, and instead I will be focusing on areas with lots of dangerous animals and fish. And for our first destination we'll be heading over to Africa as we have the River Nile. Now the title of the largest river in the world is quite disputed as some people say it's the Nile and some people say it's the Amazon River but at around 6,650 kilometers long the Nile is definitely the longest river in the world even though it might not be the largest and the Nile has supported humans and a large array of animals for thousands of years. And the Nile isn't just home to treacherous waters and rapids but it's also home to a lot of fish and animals that I'm sure a lot of you would not not like to swim with, one of them being the very famous goliath tigerfish. Now the goliath tigerfish is one of the largest predatory freshwater fish in the world. These fish can normally be found in large river channels and although they have a very frightening appearance, they mainly use their frightening teeth to eat fish. But as this fish can reach a size of around 1.5 meters or 5 feet long, if it did decide to go for a human, this attack could be fatal. And although attacks are extremely rare, there have been a number of incidents in the Congo where this fish has attacked humans. It's thought that most of these attacks are down to mistaken identity. A shiny jewellery in the water can look like prey to a goliath tigerfish and even though this species lives up to its name as a giant, it does still fall prey to our next animal, the Nile crocodile. Now this large crocodile can be found in freshwater habitats throughout sub-Saharan Africa and in these waters the Nile crocodile is an apex predator, mainly feeding on fish but larger specimens are known to attack anything that gets close to the water, including zebras, small hippos, porcupines, birds and even other crocodiles and some specimens have been known to eat their whole body weight in one feeding. And Nile crocodiles, like many other crocodilians, have an ectothermic metabolism, which means that they can go long periods without feeding, and this can be up to three years in some cases. And the Nile crocodile is the second largest reptile in the world, as they're thought to reach a maximum size of around 6.1 meters or 20 feet. And this size means that they're only second to the saltwater crocodile. And crocodile attacks on humans are more frequent than you might think, as in the North African Nile there are around 100 crocodile attacks per year. And seeing as there are only around 16 shark attacks per year, this is quite a scary number. And if you were attacked by a Nile crocodile, you don't stand much chance of escaping, as the Nile crocodile has the most powerful bite force than any other living creature, as they can bite down with a force of around 5,000 pounds per square inch. And to put that into perspective, that's around 5 times the force of a lion, and about 30 times the force of an average human being. And one very famous Nile crocodile known as Gustav had allegedly killed up to 300 people. So if you do go swimming in the Nile, it's best to look out for crocodiles first. But a sllightly less dangerous predator is the Abba Abba knife fish. Now you won't find this species in the Nile's main river channel as they normally inhabit slow moving streams and densely vegetated swamps and marshes. And although this species is piscivorous, mainly feeding on other fish, it is known to be a very aggressive species. And behind its rather cute face, it's hiding a very powerful set of jaws and some very sharp teeth. And although an attack from this fish wouldn't be fatal, you might lose a few toes and fingers. But if you're swimming in the Nile, this fish is probably quite quite far down on the danger list. But another very dangerous species to look out for is the hippopotamus. Now there are two species of hippopotamus alive today, the pygmy hippopotamus and the common hippopotamus, but in this video I will be focusing on the latter. And the hippo is the third largest type of land mammal, as some have been known to reach weights of around 1,500 kilograms, which is around 3,300 pounds. And this size means that they're only beaten by the elephant and the rhinoceros. And in the day hippos are normally found wallowing in the water, but they usually come out at night to graze on grass, and it's thought that they can consume around 68 kilograms of grass per night. But even though you aren't on the menu for a hippo, it doesn't mean they're not dangerous, as the hippo is among the most dangerous animals in the world due to its highly aggressive and unpredictable nature. And they aren't just dangerous in the water, as despite having a very chubby body, they're able to run at around 19 miles per hour over short distances, meaning it'll be quite hard to run away from a hippo. And they prove to be even more deadly than the Nile crocodile, as hippos are thought to kill around 500 people per year in Africa. So all in all, I think it's very fair to say that swimming in the Nile River can be quite dangerous. But for our next destination, we'll be heading out into the Indian Ocean as we have the island of Reunion. Now, although this island is in the Indian Ocean, it is actually a territory of France and its closest neighbours are Mauritius and Madagascar. And this island has quite a small population of around 860,000. And the majority of this population live in the largest city of Reunion, Saint Denis. And for the most part, life on this island seems to be quite relaxing and even idyllic. But if 
if you set foot into the oceans, it's a very different story. As even though shark attacks are very rare, this small island was the host for around 16% of the world's fatal shark attacks from 2011 to 2016. And as the waters around Reunion are home to the three most dangerous shark species, the great white, the bull, and the tiger, it's easy to see why these waters are known for being quite dangerous. But there are plenty of other places around the world that have these three dangerous species and don't have anywhere near the same amount of attacks. And the reason for this large number of attacks is still a debated topic, but some of the main reasons are that the coral reefs around the island offer perfect habitats for sharks, as there's an abundance of prey. And one of the other reasons is that the island is situated on the so-called Shark Highway, which is between Australia and South Africa. And South Africa has the second highest shark attacks per million, with a number of 0.76. But Reunion blows that out of the water, with around 3.15 shark-related deaths per million. And to put that into perspective for you American viewers, the US had a rate of around 0.0013 per million. And the government's response to these shark attacks has been heavily criticised, as in 2013 they put a controversial ban on nearly all surfing and swimming, and some government officials have put the blame on what they refer to as reckless surfers. But as I said previously, shark attacks are extremely rare and they shouldn't be villainised for the few attacks that happen each year. But if you do have a crippling fear of sharks, you probably don't want to visit the island of Reunion. But for our next destination we'll be heading to South America as we have the Amazon River. Now the Amazon River is the largest river in the world by water volume, as it releases around 200,000 litres of fresh water into the ocean every single second. And this accounts for nearly 20% of all the river water that enters the sea. And the Amazon River Basin is one of the most biodiverse places on this planet, as not only are there large mammals and reptiles, but there's also around 3,000 species of fish that call the waters of the Amazon home. But unfortunately, a lot of these species have come under pressure in recent years, as there's thought to be around 142 dams along the Amazon River. And although these dams produce clean electricity, they have a negative effect on the fish as they are no longer able to migrate up and down river. And if you were to go swimming in the Amazon River, one of the main predators you'll have to look out for is the black caiman. Now the black caiman is actually closely related to the American alligator, and as they can reach a size of around 6 metres or 20 feet, they can be a real danger. And in the Amazon's waters, they mainly feed on fish, but they're known to be opportunistic predators, also feeding on a wide range of reptiles, birds, and mammals. And as many parts of the Amazon are very remote, the number of attacks on humans is very hard to calculate. But between 2008 and 2013, black caimans were thought to be involved in 43 attacks on people, with only around a fifth of these proving fatal. And although they're one of the most dangerous creatures that you can run into in the Amazon's waters, they still do fall prey to jaguars, as they normally bite these caimans behind the head, which is a great way of avoiding their powerful jaws. So this is definitely a reptile that you should stay away from. Another dangerous reptile to look out for is the green anaconda. This reptile is the heaviest and one of the longest snakes in the world, reaching a maximum size around 8.8 meters or 29 feet long and it puts this size to great use as the green anaconda is non-venomous and kills its prey through constriction and quite worryingly it feeds on quite large prey items such as capybaras, tapirs and in some instance even jaguars and although they have a legendary status as man-eaters there have been no verified deaths by anaconda even though there have been many reports and the scientific consensus is that an anaconda could eat a human as they feed on prey that is tougher and stronger than humans but as we have hands and arms, avoiding an anaconda attack may be a lot easier than if you were a capybara, but nonetheless this is a very scary reptile to run into. But for now we'll move away from the reptiles and onto the fish species. And first up we have the piranhas. Now Hollywood films would have you believe that piranhas are the most dangerous fish on the planet, but under most circumstances, this is false. As a lot of piranha species are omnivorous and feed on a wide range of plant material as well as other fish. And although piranhas have a very violent way of feeding, this prey is almost always other fish. And attacks on humans are very rare, and these normally result in minor injuries, typically to the feet and hands. But as they have some pretty impressive weaponry, they can cause a lot of damage. And there have been a few fatal attacks on humans, but these almost always occur in the dry sea Season, where the food is very scarce and the water level is very low. And fish keepers who have kept piranha before will know that they can be quite timid and far from aggressive. But in the right circumstances, this can be a very dangerous fish to swim with. But next up we have the electric eel. Now even though it's called an eel, it's actually a member of the knife fish family and is one of the largest members in this family, reaching a size of around 2.5 meters, around 8 feet long. Now it's very unlikely to come across the electric eel in the main river channel, as they prefer slower moving or stagnant waters, where they navigate through the environment using a weak electric field. But this isn't the only way in which they use their electric powers, as their bodies are packed with 600 cells that act like tiny batteries, which 
which are capable of zapping out more than 600 volts. And in most instances, this is used to stun their prey, which is mostly crustaceans and other fish. But when the electric eel is attacked, they use their electrical power to fight back, as they're known to frequently stun the recently featured black caiman, and in some rare instances, they attack humans. But fatal attacks on humans are extremely rare, and although the 600 volts can kill you, most fatalities are caused from drowning after being shocked. But if you swim in the main river channel, you'll be able to escape these highly adapted predators. But for our next destination, we'll be travelling as far north as you can go, as we have the Arctic Ocean. Now I have to admit that the Arctic Ocean isn't a holiday destination for most of you out there, but if you were to fall off a ship in the Arctic Ocean, you'd soon die to the elements before you died to any predator, as generally a person can survive in near freezing water temperatures for around 15 to 20 minutes before your muscles get weak, you lose coordination, and you eventually die. But even if you did manage to get out of the water, the freezing cold winds and landscape would soon finish you off. So it's very strange that one of the most desolate and unforgiving landscapes is home to some of the largest predators in the world, as if you weren't taken out by the elements, you would have to look out for polar bears. Now polar bears are the largest bears in the world, reaching a maximum size of around 3.4 meters or 11 feet tall. And they aren't just the largest bears, but are the largest extant land carnivore. And to be able to deal with the freezing conditions of the Arctic, polar bears need to eat a lot of calories. And in most cases, this comes in the form of seals and walruses. And to be able to catch these prey items, polar bears are heavily dependent on sea ice. But due to the effects of global warming, the sea ice is quickly vanishing. And this has led to a huge decrease in polar bear numbers and have led to some individuals getting more and more desperate for food. And this increase in desperation has led to an increase in attacks on humans, as there have been around 20 direct attacks on humans in the past few years. And because of their impressive size, they are one of the few land animals that see humans as a direct source of food. And even if you did manage to outrun them on land, they can swim at speeds of up to 6 miles per hour, meaning that you're not going to outswim it. So if for some strange reason you did manage to fall into the Arctic Ocean, it would be best to avoid polar bears. But another large predator that you'll have to look out for in the Arctic Ocean is the killer whale. Now the killer whale's name can be quite deceiving, as they're actually the largest member of the dolphin family. But it's thought that they got their name killer whale as they kill whales whales, as orcas have to be some of the most efficient and successful hunters in the world, as they feed on a long list of marine mammals, but have also been known to take down the largest animal in the world, the blue whale. And to be able to do this, they have to be very large, as they can reach a maximum size of around 9.8 meters or 32 feet. But surprisingly, there have been no fatal attacks on humans, but there has been a few cases of captive orcas killing or injuring their trainers. But as orcas are such prolific predators, it would be extremely easy for one of them to take out a human, and there are many theories as to why they don't target humans. One of the main factors is their intelligence, as they need a lot of calories to keep them going, which is why they usually tackle marine mammals with a lot of blubber or very fatty fish such as the Chinook salmon. And because they're such efficient hunters, they're known to be very picky, as they're known to let skinnier species of salmon swim by them without even trying to hunt them. And they've been known to kill grey whales only to eat their tongues, and kill great white sharks only to eat their livers. So to put it simply, we're simply not tasty enough or have enough fat to be an acceptable meal for a killer whale. And there have been reported incidents where an orca has attempted to hunt a human, but broke off the hunt immediately upon realizing that it wasn't a sea lion. But despite this, on September of 1972, a Californian surfer was bitten by an orca, and this bite required 100 stitches, and is the only instance where a wild orca has bit a human. So even though it's very unlikely to get attacked by an orca, if you did, you'd have no chance. But for a final destination, we'll be moving over to Asia, as we have the Ganges River. Now the Ganges Ganges travels through two countries, India and Bangladesh, and for thousands of years, multiple species of fish, amphibians and birds have relied on the Ganges River. But in recent years, these species have come under threat of extinction because of pollution, as the Ganges is the fifth most polluted river in the world, and most of this pollution comes in the form of industrial waste and the disposal of human sewage and animal waste. But the Ganges is also a sacred river for the Hindus, and many people travel from distant places to immerse the ashes of their relatives in the waters of the Ganges, and also to send the bodies of relatives into the river, but there are some very negative effects to this practice, as many predators feed on these dead bodies and in turn start to associate humans with food. And one of these predators is the Gooch catfish. Now the Gooch is one of the largest catfish in the world, reaching a maximum size of around 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet. It is found in India and Nepal and tends to inhabit fast flowing water where it hunkers itself onto the bottom and waits for other fish to come by before snapping them up. But there has been several reports of this catfish attacking humans, although 
none of these have been verified. And as this is such a large and powerful fish, it does have the potential to take out a human, so it might not be a great idea to swim with them. Another dangerous predator that inhabits the waters of the Ganges is the Mugger Crocodile. Now this crocodile reaches a maximum size around 5 meters or 16.5 feet. And although it's not the largest crocodile species, it is one of the most dangerous. As between 2008 and 2013, 110 people were attacked by Mugger Crocodiles, with approximately a third of those cases resulting in death. But most of the time humans are off the menu as they usually prey on fish, snakes, turtles, birds and mammals. But muggers are also known to be scavengers, feeding on dead animals or in the polluted waters of the Ganges, sometimes this can be dead bodies. So if you run into a mugger crocodile with the taste for human flesh, it might not end well for you. But that's about it for this video, let me know which destination you think is the most dangerous in the comments below and if you think there are any other destinations that could be added to this list then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these but until next time goodbye